New England gardening. This is a patch of June bearing strawberries. And we just had a downpour again this morning and last night. And the humidity is going up. We're in store for like a four day, 90 degree high humidity heat wave. But uh, I've been doing some weeding. And in the course of weeding, I've uh, dug up some strawberry plants. I'm going to pot them up, put them on the porch, and hopefully keep them away from critters so I get to have some of these strawberries myself. As you can see, they're coming along here. You can see the stage of development on the strawberries. And the, I'm sure the robins, once these turn red, it's not like a stop sign, it's actually a go sign for the critters. In fact, um, must have been a bad winter for chipmunks because there's no chipmunks this year. And chipmunks love green strawberries no matter what stage of development. They strip strawberry plants bare. So I'm glad that there's no chipmunks. You usually can hear them staking out their territory or putting out their warning signals whenever they see a cat around. So I haven't seen or heard any chipmunks so far this year. So let's get to potting up some of these strawberries so I get to enjoy some of them myself. So I dug up these strawberries yesterday so they haven't been stressed for too long. Um, try to keep the roots moist. And uh, the reason they're bare is I'm trying to pick out all the weeds that work themselves into the roots. These here I picked a couple of days ago and I don't know, the, the water was already starting to smell like swamp. But uh, they still look pretty good. So I think uh, in general strawberries can take transplanting pretty good. Just don't put them out in the full sun uh, right away. So we'll see. Hopefully this will allow me to have some of these strawberries before the critters get them. Even though I'm going to put this on a porch, I'll put uh, some netting over it when they start turning red. So I'm not going to add any perlite or anything. I'm just going to use this organic choice garden soil. It's got a lot of organics in it, which I think helps with drainage too. And uh, probably put a couple more, I'll put more than one plant in each pot. I mean, you can see that patch there was growing pretty thick and they're pretty close together. So I think you can cram strawberries together. I'm sure if you really pack them in close, it probably affects the size of the berries, but I'll get maybe two or three in each one of these gallon pots. So you can see there's a good range here as far as uh, production goes. You still have flowers on them, and you've got some pretty good developed strawberries. So I think once June kicks in, we'll be starting to get some, some nice strawberries from these. I think two plants we can go in here. Maybe put them to the side a little bit. You don't want to bury the crown. I'll try different amounts. I'll put I'll put one in a pot, put two in a pot, put three in a pot. See what happens. I think I can get another one in here. Oh, maybe not.
I went and grabbed some coffee filters. I forgot about this trick. Keep the soil from coming out of the drainage holes. Just put a coffee filter in the bottom. Going with three, three plants again. So this is New England Gardening, transplanting some strawberries. Hopefully I'll get to save some of these for myself. Thanks for watching.